You're watching Grizzly News Network. Changes have been made to our win schedule. Coming up, a look at what those changes are and how this will affect students. Plus, Student Council is playing their part in helping those in need. More on how this camp food drive will help each grade earn more clothes. And the Grizzlies and Lady Bears kick off their basketball season while the football team continues their hopes for another state title. These stories and more straight ahead. What's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? I like everything, bro. What you mean? I like turkey, um, green beans, you feel, the green bean casserole, the pumpkin pie, you feel, and technically everything, because Thanksgiving is like the best time of the year, you feel? Um, I mostly like everything, but I really like the ham. I think ham's better than turkey, and I like pecan pie and apple pie. Um, I like ham, corn, mashed potatoes, and I think that's it. Um, it's either turkey or deviled eggs. My like deviled eggs. <laughs> Good morning, Grizzly Nation, and welcome back. It's November 12th. I'm Essence Farmer. And I'm Jakaya Webster. Happening now, a canned food drive fundraiser for Student Council. The clubs put this event on every year with the hopes helping those in need. The money raised will go to the Salvation Army. The fundraiser is also another way for students to earn more claws for their class. In order to earn points, your class has to donate cans for the food drive. Those donations were collected in front of the, the media center and scored 10 points for creativity, 5 points for information about hunger, and 5 points for teamwork, and 1 point per can. The class that does the best will earn 30 claws. Here's a recap of the claws total as it stands today. Seniors have 175 claws, juniors 65, sophomores 60, and freshmen 150 claws. Don't worry, Grizzlies, you have another chance to earn claws. On Friday, December 10th, the Wren team will host another pep rally where there will be fun and games along with music. But in order to attend, you must have a C or better in all classes three or less absences and tardies, and no disciplinary referrals, suspensions, or SDC from November 8th till December 3rd. The Wren team is also sponsoring a sock drive that starts November 29th. They will collect new socks and gently used socks in the media center hallway. This is another way to earn 30 calls for your class. In other Grizzly news, this week administration altered the current win schedule. Instead of students meeting in advisory periods on Monday and planning their win session for the week, they will remain in all class periods and be drafted out by the teacher for failing grades or makeup work. Remember, you will be notified by email if you need to attend a win session. Here's a quick PSA explaining.
Moving on, the Northside Delinquent List has been posted outside of the cafeteria in the media center. Please check to see if you currently owe any delinquent fees. Remember, if your name is on the list, there are various events throughout the school year that you may not be able to participate in. Seniors, if your name is on the list, you won't be able to attend prom or receive your diploma at graduation until the fees are paid. Fees may be paid in the main office. In an effort to help students get this done. Seniors, don't forget to bring your college acceptance letters to Ms. Coates to see your senior posters. You must have accept, assess, acceptance letters in order to get this done. Ms. Coates' room is in room 104, the eSports room. Administration is buckling down on students who violate the senior parking, parking rules. Since the beginning of the year, GNN has teamed up with administration to remind students about the do's and don'ts of where to park your cars. It's really simple. If you're not a senior, don't park in the senior parking lot. If you do, you'll be fined. Put on a delinquent list. Okay, now it's time for sports. Basketball season is underway and the Grizzly football team continues their run for another state title. For more on this, let's send it over to Christian and Cecilia. What's up Grizzlies? Welcome back to another edition of Sports Desk. I'm Christian Salinas. And I'm Cecilia Diaz. Esports is closing in on playoffs, playing their last regular season matches, and basketball season has kicked off. Our basketball teams took on Charleston and Jacksonville this week. Let's dive into the details. Our Lady Bears kicked off our basketball season Tuesday, taking on Charleston away from home. The Lady Bears got a dominant win, 74-14, a spectacular way to open up the season. Following that game, the Lady Bears and our Grizzlies took on Jacksonville last night in our first home game. We don't yet have those results, but we'll update you next week. The Grizzly basketball team take on Whitehall tomorrow evening at the Hoopin' for Hoodies tournament, sponsored by the Cigna Health for Diabetes Awareness. Wishing the best of luck to our Grizzlies. We move on into eSports. Here are the results from last week's matchups. Our League of Legends team took their win effortlessly against Conway 2-0. Our Grizzly White FIFA team got their sweep against Mina High School 3-0. Our Smash Bros. teams had an eventful night last Wednesday, where Smash and Dash fell short in a tight game against Bentonville High School. Top Deck were set to take on Southside, but the match was forfeited by Southside, which resulted in a 9-0 win for Northside. They then took on Valley View High School and played their match to win 6-3. Northside's Alpha Rocket League team continues undefeated and looking to finish the number one seed. They took on Don Tyson and got their sweep 3-0. So far this week, Splatoon, League of Legends, and FIFA played their last regular season games and got their wins gaining their place in playoffs. Here are their rankings as of this week. Five teams were able to finish in the top five in the state. Brackets are released Monday and will be on our next show. Keep on practicing for playoffs. That about wraps it up for sports news this week. Thanks for joining us. Now we send it over to 90 Second Sports. Welcome back to another segment of 90 Second Sports. I'm your host, Joseph Maffei. And I'm Tom Massey. And this week, we're going to be talking about our big playoff win against Benville West. You know, going into halftime, it's 40 to 7, and we're already up so much. Yeah. You know, you had 16 carries for 144 yards and three touchdowns. How do you feel like you played? I feel like I impacted the game a lot. and just, It was a very cold game. We just wanted to go out and win. In this very cold game, pressure room, come out at halftime. Man, just, especially seeing our JV finish them off for yeah, us, you just, know. Just get ready for this week. Yeah, this week, you know, it's going to be a very big game. Going to Bryant especially, you know, last time we were at Bryant. It was it rough. Was not, it, yeah, it was, it was really rough. rough, you know. I feel like this time that when we come out and execute on the big plays that need to be mm -hmm. executed, that we can not have any turnovers and mm -hmm. just score the ball when you need to score. You just need to go out and finish. Yeah. Finish those drives, finish everything. That's how yeah, we're going to win. You know, the last time we played them, it was 35 to 17. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I feel like this time we have, we lock in on offense, do everything that we need to do, have defense key for us, and then, you know, we. We go out there and we finish. We beat them at Bryant. Yes, sir. And we're on to Seamus. Yeah. 
That's our segment of 90 Second Sports. I'm your host, Justin Maffei. And I'm Tom Mask. And we'll see y'all next time. If you and your friends want to be featured on the next GNN show, head on over to our Instagram page at GNN Squad to send in your pics and don't forget to follow. Well, that's it. That's all we're covering for this week's broadcast. But before we go, we want to congratulate Grizzly volleyball player Macy Grams. Macy will be taking her volleyball talents to UFIS to, to continue her volleyball career again. Congrats to Macy. Northside is proud of you. Remember, we won't be here next week because of the holiday break, but GNN wants you to have a great weekend and Thanksgiving break. And good luck to the Grizzlies tonight against Bryant and the basketball squads against Jacksonville. Bye, Bye guys! guys.